In problems 21 to 23, I found the likelihood function, the score function, and the information matrix for various GLMs. Now I'm going to do it in a more general case, leaving discussion for the properties of the likelihood function in relation to the link function. So here's the setup. Our interest is on beta, because beta is modeling. It's a parameter that models the mean. We also have another parameter being phi, this is the dispersion parameter, and in some models it is known, for example, when y is a Poisson, then phi is equal to 1. In the case where it's unknown, let's just say, suppose that you see shortly why we can just suppose it's known and just solve for beta first. Alright, to solve for beta we need to find the score with respect to this beta here. So using the canonical link, we set the natural parameter, otherwise known as canonical parameter, to the linear predictor. Then using a similar algebra that we used in problems 21 to 23, right, consider the score for the if observation, sum it to the get the score vector. I can rewrite this as a, in matrix notation by stacking these p components on top of each other to get this. Okay, discussion. This link function here a G links the mean of the response to the linear predictor. Canonical link implies that the natural parameter is equal to linear predictor. So why is using the linear uh, canonical link so convenient or useful or recommended? It's because if we use the canonical link for the GLM, that implies that the log likelihood function is strictly concave. And that has implications for maximizing the likelihood function. It makes it more easier. We don't have to worry about multiple maximas. We know if it's strictly concave, it's going to be at most one global maximum over your... yeah. Okay, so how do we know that? Well, consider the if log likelihood. So if we use the canonical link, what you have is this, and this expression here is linear in beta. Then you've got this function c of theta. Now this c of theta, the second derivative of it is related to the variance like this, and variance for y is bigger than or equal to zero. That means theta double prime is must be bigger than or equal bigger than or equal to zero for all values of theta. This implies it's a convex function. If it's strictly bigger than zero, then it's strictly convex function. Well, if y is a proper random variable, this would be bigger than zero. So then we'll suppose that c is a strictly convex function. So the negative of it will be a strictly concave function. Okay, now an, a result from single variable calculus. Say we've got this function f, which we have here as the log likelihood function, and it's just got one un, uh, un parameter, alpha. Then, if a, f is a continuous function over some interval here which includes its endpoint it's basically it's continuous over here so if we say it's um, compact then uh, they must have a maximum minimum so if I do this you can see here the minimum is here in this case the maximum is here um, but this second picture is also satisfies this theorem but the point is like we have a strictly concave function it means that we only got basically one hump like so and that hump, uh, at the uh, peak of the hump, is going to give me a maximum. So it's a global maximum because it's the only one. Okay, This is not concave, this function. So now we know there's good reasons to use the canonical link. Let's solve for it. So solve for it, we set this score to 0. Okay, ML, um, and yeah, set to 0. Remember, mu is a function of beta. Okay. So if we set to zero, we'll stick a hat on mu, because mu is a function of beta, and beta is unknown. Notice here then, this here, what we have to solve for beta, does not depend on phi. So remember at the beginning, I just said, we can just suppose then that phi is known. If our interest is still on beta, we don't have to worry about this parameter at this stage. Depending on the link function, this here, may be a non-linear optimization problem, so we have to use some numerical procedure like newton raphson or something like that, okay? Okay, so how does this expression relate back to the standard normal linear regression model, like the y, where y is normal distributed? Well, in that case, 
in this GLM, the canonical link G is our identity, so mu is related to a linear predictor like so, so stick a hat on mu, stick a hat on beta. Substitute for mu hat here this, and we have this, and you recognize that this is what we call the normal equations. If x transpose x is invertible, then we have this unique solution. Also, recognize like in the normal linear regression model, we would typically just not write mu hat, we write this is equal to y hat. Go back up here. So instead of having mu hat equal to zero, stick y hat equal to zero. But you recognize y minus y hat is what they call the residual. So this is saying that x is orthogonal, or columns of x is orthogonal to the residuals, the vector of residuals. Okay, that wasn't too important. But now, let's redo this problem but considering a general score function, uh, general link function g. Right, so what we've got here are, are layers of relations. We've got this natural canonical parameter theta. So proposing it's got some relationship to mu. Mu has some relationship to eta and eta is related to beta for his linear predictor. Is there such a relationship between theta and mu? A one-to-one -one map? Yes, there is because we sh have shown in problem 91 that mu is related to this c is basically equal to c prime. So then my function h inverse is the c prime. This function g we're just supposing this link function relates the mu to the eta and this is the thing that we're picking. Now notice since we're assuming here there's a relationship we can go from one to the other, we assume that g here is invertible. So I made a statement here that g is invertible. As you see as well, we're going to see that indeed that g is differentiable. Alright, so I'm going to show you now why we have, when we use canonical link, theta is equal to the linear predictor. So this picture which is showing the relationships may be written like this. Now the canonical link sets g to equal to h, which is equal to c prime. So let's stick g. Well, if g is equal to h, then g inverse is equal to h inverse. Okay, so here goes to here goes to here, uh, but then these two is equal to that. So we're done. Okay, now let's derive the score function for the general case. So J component, the J component of the score, okay, is like this. Now the thing is this, beta is related to eta through this, but eta is, is a function is a function of mu, and mu is a function of theta. In the likelihood function, see the likelihood function here depends on ultimately on beta through this initially through this theta. So we use the chain rule. Okay, so L depends on theta. But theta depends on mu. And mu depends on eta and eta depends on some BB betas like that. So that's just repeated application of chain rule. Now what I have to do is just compute each of these components. Okay, there's not much discussion here for first one all right log likelihood i component is just this from likelihood function this guy here right this one is this one here i can't get directly i know though there's a relationship between the mean and the c prime like this so if i take the derivative with respect to theta i i have this we know there's a relationship between the second derivative of c and the variance of y well since we're assuming here there is a one-to-one -one map between mu and theta, to get d theta by d mu, I just do a reciprocal of this guy, which is this, okay, being one over this, which holds so long as this variance is not equal to zero. Now you've got proper random variable. So it works because it's got one-to-one -one map between these two parameters. Okay, that's dealt with this one. This guy here, we can't say too much because it depends, look, this is equal to the inverse of g, but that depends on what the choice of g is. So we can't say more than that, other than that this guy g inverse is um, differentiable, which I mentioned up here. 
and then finally d eta by d beta j is that through this. Putting that all together, substituting all those back into that expression, uh, we have this. Oh, it's fireworks outside, right? Don't let it disturb you. Okay, so this is just for the uh, j component. So we're, then we have j is equal to 1 to p. Stack them all together, we can write it in matrix form like so where P is a diagonal matrix, where the ith diagonal element is this. Okay, for those of you who want to kind of think a bit more, this is related to the first one where we did it with the canonical link. So think about what this expression becomes when we use the canonical link. Right, moving on. Comments. So now when the canonical link is not used, we can't guarantee that this log likelihood will be strictly concave. In other words, there's no guarantee here that MLE has a unique solution. There may be multiple solutions, like multiple maximas, a local maximas, or there may be no solution. So if you are running this on some computer and you find it comes an error message, then that could be why there's no MLE. Or if you're not using canonical link and you have an answer for your beta hat, then we'd be wary, is it a global max you've solved? Okay, estimation of this dispersion parameter, which we're not too interested in, unless you're doing inference like hypothesis testing. Typical methods are, common one is using the uh, estimate independently using method of moments. That's easier than, turns out easier than using MLE. There's no guarantee this MLE likelihood function will be, have nice properties uh, like we've shown here for beta hat when we use the canonical link. Okay, finally, um, leaving it. Uh, le before I leave this, just to say, I uh, was scrolling down. Oh, this is looks pr pretty technical. When you're trying to follow something like this, I always recommend try to redo this thing. Uh, try to write something down. Just don't just drink it all in because you probably haven't understood it if you just read it or listen or watch this without trying it. Okay.